What's up, thuggies? Welcome back. It's that time of the month again, and we finally got a new battle pack. Check it out. Battle packs have been scarce for the past two years, but LEGO's back at it again with a second clone battle pack of the year. And this time, there's no signs of stopping. However, that's not the topic of today's video. Today, we bring you a few ways to fix LEGO's new Captain Vaughn. Don't get me wrong, it's awesome that we're getting more named clones and cheaper LEGO sets, but that's not to say they aren't as perfect as they could be. One of the main things I've seen people say about this figure is how they didn't add the great printing to the torso even though they easily could have comparing the figure to LEGO's Commander Cody from the ATTE set. So what we did over here at Thuggy Bricks was create an overlay decal that you could put over the clone torso. It doesn't work only just for Captain Vaughn, although we did get the idea from him. So I guess thanks to LEGO for messing up this figure. In my own opinion, I think this figure already looks way better with the overlay decal, but that's not all. In one of our last videos, we showcased this decal visor that we made to make Vaughn's plain orange visor way more accurate to what you see in the Clone Wars show. We also purchased this custom jetpack piece from Clone Army Customs to turn this plain printed jetpack into an awesome physical jetpack piece. You could also use the same piece of Commander Cody. One last thing you could do is change the white arms to blue arms to match the rest of your clone commanders. I personally like to use these pad printed arms I got from Mobius Brick on eBay. Check out our other showcase videos on him to learn more. Anyway, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and subscribe!